Hi there. Welcome to today's meditation. This meditation is centered around the full moon in Aries that's happening on October 9th, 2022. Today we're going to do a 10 minute meditation that takes a look at some of the themes that are present during this time. And with this meditation, You'll allow yourself, you'll give yourself some time to reflect on the way these themes are showing up in your life today. We're first going to arrive in the space, center in our body, and then head into asking ourselves some deeper questions. I hope you enjoy it. So to start off, find a place where you feel comfortable. You don't need to be sitting the way I am on the floor, cross-legged. You can also lie down in your bed if you feel more comfortable. Or sit in a chair. And we'll start here actually with our eyes open. Take a look at the room around you. Where are you? What are the objects that you see? Is it dark or light where you are? Now go ahead and gently close your eyes. Slowly, we're going to go through and, in a way, close off the outer world and draw our attention inwards. Draw your attention to your ears. What do you hear? Perhaps it's cars driving by or the hum of the refrigerator. Gently close that off as well. And bring your attention to your nose now. Notice if you smell anything. Perhaps it's the Fresh flowers you got this morning. Or maybe the lunch you had just prepared and eaten. Now draw your attention to what you're feeling, the, the surfaces that your body is touching. Whether it's the whole back of your body supported by the bed, or your thighs and buttocks supported by the ground beneath you. Notice if the surface is hard or soft, cold or warm. Now draw your attention to your body. Are there any parts of the body, any muscles, any areas that are feeling a bit achy? And draw your attention to your breath now. Noticing how with the inhalation, the chest moves out. And with the exhale, how it collapses in. Perhaps you notice that your whole body grows taller with the inhales. And shrinks down a bit smaller with the exhales. And 
wistful moon in Aries may bring up some very hot emotions, very passionate emotions. In whatever area of life that may be, these emotions are centered around what we desire, what makes us happy, what do we want to pursue and do and follow through with. What you may be feeling is that this time there's sort of appearance that you're keeping up or a balance that's perhaps in contrast to these emotions that are burning up inside you. Notice, are you feeling anything today? Or in the last couple of days, that gets you really riled up. Which part of your life are these emotions centered around? Is it at work? Your relationships? Maybe your money? And where do you feel in contrast that you're just keeping the peace, acting in a way contrary to the way you're feeling, to the things you're desiring, just to compromise, just to keep a balance, just to keep the peace, to make sure people like you, to make sure everything is calm and stays as it always has been. Let's bring our attention back to our heart. And slowly, as you try to bring up some ideas on how we can actionably resolve the situation. Notice how they feel in your heart. Instead of measuring our solution logically in our mind by thinking, about whether it's the best option or not. See which solution feels nice in your heart space. Which solution brings you happiness, brings you ease, makes you feel calm and centered again. Of course, Aries is a very actionable doing sign. So we're going to wrap up our meditation today by just thinking of a first step that we could take in this direction. What is the first step that you can take today, tomorrow, this week, towards the solution that feels good in your heart?
you can gently open your eyes. Thank you for joining me for today's meditation. Like I said earlier, the Aries full moon can bring up a lot of very passionate emotions. And that doesn't have to be something that we're afraid of. You just need to take a look at what are these emotions telling us? Are they in contrast? Are we not expressing them in some part of our life? Are we instead trying to keep the peace in some way? And finding a solution, a step, a way forward that feels good. Not one that we have tactfully made up in our minds. One that we know is going to keep every party happy but instead one that makes us feel lightweight. Thank you for joining me for today's meditation, and I hope to see you again soon.